Hello, thanks for joining. So in the previous video, we did perform a couple of API calls. In this video, what we're gonna do, we're gonna combine two steps, which is creating a new address uh, object in Python in, with Python. And then what we're gonna do is update the address group to add this address to the address group, okay? So it's quite easy with the postman, right? So you have the code already ready for you. And this is in curl format, what we want it, we want it in Python. Python using request. And let's create a new file. So basically here you have everything, even the cookie and the authentication. So don't need the cookie, I would say. And let's name it this uh, slash Python. A dot Python, I mean. Alright, so this is working. Well, we need to put it in a function. I don't want to return it in text format because I want to have the option to return it in JSON or just see what the response is. Right, so we come here, the name. Definitely there's a better way to move the authentication and the header from here, but for now I'm gonna keep it. You could use environmental variables locally on your machine and so on so on, definitely highly recommended. But since this is a lab, I'm not gonna do that. I always like when I'm creating something on my device, just name started with the name API or ended with API, just to know that this has been added through a script. Does that certification verification very certification verification failed and well it's clear because uh, verify equal false right since this is and I don't recommend doing that I would recommend at getting the firewall certification and adding it to your trusted certificate on your device because in case you have a man in the middle attack you don't want this to actually go through, okay? Now let's see on the firewall if it got created and let's see flash. Oh, you know, I'm looking at the address groups. All right, so this is one. Actually, we don't need to change the the IP. You could have different uh, names with the same ID. It doesn't matter. And actually, I prefer to have it slash thirty two. And perfect. We had multiple API. So now let's update our address group.
you know let's create another one called get members so get address group do here under parameters specify the name to get just the address group that we care about right, perfect. and let's save as is there save as is right so here we just add the name parameter so we don't get all the results just to get the address group that we care about that we're gonna update okay could put them in the same function but like I'm gonna do two different functions So just let's take a look at this. Alright, so let's run this. Perfect, something failed. <laughs> and actually, the member is this. Not the... Perfect. Let's create a new one. Yeah, for sure this didn't work. Let's try again. This one worked. All right, perfect. So we've added the API nice Python four, and we've added this to the address group. All right, I think that's enough for this video. Thanks for joining, guys. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section or uh, reach out to us through our contact us page. Thank you.